Hi there, it's Craig from The Escape again. Um, this week we're going to have a quick look at how you can optimize the content on your web pages to make them more appealing to the kinds of phrases that people will search into search engines. This, um, what you can see on screen, is a presentation I did a year or two ago um, about this very subject. So take a moment and pause the video and take a quick read of this opening paragraph of a home page for a, a client's website. Now, I wonder if you're sitting there thinking, what are you trying to sell to me? Maybe you've already thought, yeah, that sounds really nice, this lifestyle product that they're trying to sell. What this company are actually selling is mobility scooters. Thankfully, they've changed the content on the front of their website, but as you can see, the range of content that they're using is very broad marketing speak. They're talking about their vast product range. Um, they're talking about their wide range of products. They're talking about the right solution. Um, our aim is to focus on our customers' requirements. All of these phrases are very generic marketing phrases. Now, if you think about the person who is in their Google or Yahoo or AOL or whatever, typing in a search, can you imagine that they'd actually be looking for the right solution or expertise to provide the best product to improve your lifestyle? What they're actually looking for are the nuts and bolts. They have a problem they need answering and 90% of web pages out there are offering them generic marketing speak rather than specific content. So if you think about the content on your web pages, maybe you've got a services section for instance or a product section, quality relevant content on those pages is essential. The content on every single page that you've got within those sections or on any page on your website needs to be really specific. Um, and it also needs to be very descriptive. It needs to cover the kinds of language that your potential clients would use, but it also needs to talk about the actual product or the service that you're selling. Bear in mind, though, that any content that you write on your website needs to have a level of engagement because even if someone does find you through a search engine, you still need to engage them through your copywriting and through the content that you place on your page. So you need to have a real structure around the way you use your words, the way you use your phrases, and the way you use your web pages. Take this example, for instance, um, a fruit shop. Now you've got your home page in the center there, and then potentially you've got separate pages on your website for each particular type of fruit. Now, the hope is here that if someone types in pears into a search engine, they'll end up on the pears section of your website rather than the home section. And if someone typed in apples, they'd end up on the apples section. Now, there's two great reasons for this from your perspective. One is that you've got more of a diet, you're actually answering that person's query. They won't be looking for fruit, they'll be looking for apples, or they might be looking for golden delicious apples. The more specific you can make your content on particular pages relevant, the better. So this page here that we're pointing to should answer someone's query about golden delicious apples. If they're looking for royal gala apples, they should end up on the royal gala page. And when they come to you, they're a lot softer in terms of rejecting what you've got to tell them, basically because you are answering their query they placed into the search engine. So you're bypassing all of this content and delivering them directly to the correct page. Now words are really important in this process. You know, take this old phrase, you know, a man walks into a bar. Now the ambiguity in what that bar is, is the thing that can also create confusion. Another good example I use a lot is this one here, nails, varnish and some polish. Are we in a DIY store or are we in a beauty store? So we need to really be concentrating on how we use words, clusters of words and phrases on our web pages. So let's have a look at how we can apply that to our thinking in terms of websites. So I'm on a page here on the escape. I've scaled my screen down so the whole website doesn't fit on. But the page I'm specifically looking at is called Content Management Systems, which is a web service. So from our escape website, it's in the services section, in the web section, Content Management. This page here is all about Content Management Systems. At the moment, 
if someone goes to a search engine and looks in for content management systems Hampshire or something along those lines this page here is geared towards answering that query not the fact that we're even in the escape not the fact that we do web stuff um, not even necessarily the fact that we're in Hampshire um, it's completely focused on content management systems everything else kind of supplements that message so what I just want to show you here is I'm going to copy that URL and on our website here under the reference section is a page called the web page analyzer tool so you click on the reference section you can either paste a URL there or there's the tool there I'm going to click in there and say paste Now this little tool we've got is really neat it's really quick it's really clever and it gives you the right information very very quickly what this does it goes off to that particular web page and it analyzes the content so this page here the title is content management systems CMS from the escape web agency in the UK and then here we are with the de meta description that follows that up so again these are important facets of how you build up your web page and then we go down to the structure so the main heading of that page is content management systems so if you think about the story that this this detail here is selling us effectively from this information I've kind of got a good idea of what this page is about already bearing in mind I could be a search engine just purely looking for specific words and specific word combinations as I scroll down we don't need to look at the links I have got some keywords on there but as most of us know Google in particular doesn't really take much note of keywords um, again I have put three in there and they're very very specific content management CMS website and then we look at the actual content analysis of the page so here is the page and the word count and how often it is applied within this page content so it's in here as a percentage anything over one percent gets a green bar and then we move down the scale here now obviously this is a relatively good page in terms of where you'd like to hope it would be as well but it's a relatively good page in terms of that content and I would always say to a client and I'm not going to show you this on any other ones any any other person's page today but I would always suggest to a client does the information on this page the title the description the content analysis does that tell the story of that page forgetting about the rest of the website does that tell the story this is one of the biggest aspects I think many small companies get wrong on their website in terms of delivering the appropriate information this is almost one half of the puzzle the SEO puzzle if you like if you get this right you're almost half the way there to delivering a small business relative search um, profile I'm not talking about people looking for loads and loads of irrelevant traffic just to boost ad sales I'm talking about you trying to sell a specific service let me just quickly show you one other page for instance content and copywriting for instance if I run that through it does exactly the same thing website copywriting and content from the escape and if you think about the person at the other end doing the search we're concentrating on answering their query and that's the key to it you might also be interested in the reference section on our website there's a page here make better web pages kind of highlights everything that I've just mentioned also elaborates more on the apples analogy see you in a couple of weeks